YouTube. This your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue holding it down. As you can see, we're gonna take a trip. Where I get this from and how much I pay for my wood. As you can see over here, I got pear. You know how hard it is to get pear anywhere? Um, even the guy that was uh, uh, selling it, uh, he was uh, telling me, hey man, I cut four trees down and I, I usually keep this for myself because it's so hard to come by. Pear grows very slow. And it, the trees, the, the trunk of the tree is probably about that big. If you can see, compared to a tree like a cherry tree, you can probably put your arms around it. So you can see that the cost of the wood is gonna to be totally different because it's hard to get. Excuse this dog on lawnmower there. But uh, obviously it's the weekend and people cut their grass. But anyway, we're gonna get right down to it. Got cherry on this side. Let me show you how much I get. I paid $20 for all of this, right? $20. The going rate in Florida and Jacksonville is what, 30 pieces for $10. So I got 45 pieces of cherry because I did $15 of cherry and then five dollars of the little wood and he hooked me up with a couple more pieces which i'm grateful for um in another video i'm gonna tell you what i cook pear cook with pear um i cook everything with cherry you cook everything with cherry but we're gonna talk about it in another video on the different types of wood um what they use to cook for and all that good type stuff which will be helpful for y'all in the future so cherry i cook with anything pear i ain't gonna tell you about it that's a secret but anyway um Let's roll into this video, y'all, on where I get my wood from. Loading up the truck again. Y'all just cut this wood? Yep. Oh, yeah, I see it kind of. So it's, so it's still kind of wet then, huh? What's up? That's hot to be. Hit me up if you need a number. Matter of fact, I got a number right there. They might even ship. Hey, got a question. Hey, y'all ship wood too? Hmm? Y'all ship wood? Deliver like somebody, well, I mean like somebody was out of town. How far? I don't know, I'm just asking. Mm, that, that's the thing. I, don't I do a YouTube video, that's why I was asking. Like if I post, I, like I just recorded y'all the number over there. So if somebody was to call y'all, and be like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You got a truckload you ship to California? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know. Well, y'all heard it from the man, he don't know. Call him anyway. Mm. Yep. All right, we back YouTube. Show y'all this uh, wood over here. Uh, this is where I get all my wood at. Let me show you what I'm in luck for. I'm gonna get me some uh, some pear today. They usually don't even have pear. This is uh, what pear looks like. Uh, let me get you a close up of a piece. Right here. Uh, these trees don't really get big, man. So if you look up and get you some of that, pear goes good with everything. Um, let's see what we got right here. Some what is this? Pecan, pecan, but that's wet or green. So if you ever hear, hear the word green, you talking about wood? You talking about uh, uh, wood that hadn't dried out yet? This is you really can't tell the difference um just by looking at it unless you uh been been around wood for a while. This is some of your cured wood, which is probably been sitting out about uh six about six months. So it's it's thoroughly dried out or whatnot. Um, this is some blackjack, I want to say. Hold on, let's look at the sign real quick. Oh, still all pecan. See it? Pecan. Let me get, let you look at the outside of it. That's what it looked like if you are uh, ever going somewhere and somebody tried to tell you about wood. Uh, you see the sign blackjack, and then you see none here. Just a little bit. That's just how uh, fast that stuff goes down here in Florida. But let me show you what I'm getting. This is hickory. Let's see the sign, hickory. I am going to this. Cherry. Look how dark and red that is. I can cook cherry with everything, man. No, no, no crazy smell or none of that stuff. Yeah, you can't go by them signs. Yeah, yeah, I know they're shifting around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving around so much. Yeah, I'm with you. People say, why does that say hickory and you got cherry down? Man, just, I'll show you. Yeah, take my word for it. Yeah, yeah. 
See how the quality of this wood is, just freshly split. Um, actually, it feels a little green. Uh, I can smell it in the tail. Yeah, that's still a little wet, whatnot. After you've been barbecuing for a while with wood, man, you will definitely know. Hey, look at all this wood over here. You will definitely know. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on this stuff. I got wood for days, man. Let's see if I can get an uh, image of the log splitter they use. Zoom back out. Zoom back down. That's the log splitter they use to split these big chunks, man. This wood for days right here. Look at all that. Let me zoom back out so you can see all this wood over here. They're cutting down and uh, loading up. But anyway, uh, this is where I get my wood from, y'all. It's cheap. I get about 30 pieces. Ten dollars. Um, getting about twenty dollars worth. That lasts me a little bit because I use charcoal sometimes to start my fire, and then I come back with the wood depending on how long I'm cooking. Uh, doing Boston butt briskets and stuff like that, I probably use up an entire twenty dollars, uh, depending on how well. Uh, and I'm just talking about on my Shirley fab. Um, depending on how, if how, you know, the temperature outside is hot, cold, uh, how well the temperatures are maintained. See, we zoom back out. You see me loading up cheering and a little bit of power we're gonna mess around today y'all but anyway yeah it just depends on the temperature of you know of the climate you know, i got an insulated firebox so i can pretty much control it but you're talking about a boston butt or a brisket you're talking about over 12 hours of cooking man you're gonna use some wood i use the average maybe uh two pieces of wood maybe two sometimes three an hour so in theory i probably use about ten dollars a worth. Uh, one of these days, we're going to test it out and find out just for the people out there. we got to show you fab so they can get an idea of how much wood you use. And it's all on the person, too, how hard you are pumping the wood, how much smoke you want, how much uh, temp you want or whatnot. And uh, and what temperature you're running at. I'm usually running about 250, so. I don't know, one of these days, we'll test it out and see. So, um, this your boy. Um, I guess you, you done? Okay, hold on. Let me go ahead and pay him so I can get out of here. Hold on. There you have it, guys. A uh, quick little display of where I get my wood from, how much I pay for it, what types they have to offer. Cherry, pecan, hickory, pear sometimes, orange sometimes, which is awesome. If you ever look at, uh, I can't even think of his name right now. One of the, the greatest of all time barbecuing. I forget his name. Uh, uh, with the gray hair. But anyway, uh, in my world, everybody's an expert. Whether you mess up, everybody mess up. Nobody's perfect every time. But it's all good. That's why this backyard barbecue, we keep it real. Sometimes you mess up, sometimes you don't. Hey, I show it all. Uh, but anyway, like I said, cherry, pecan, hickory, uh, pear, orange sometimes, and blackjack. Never cook with blackjack, just because I heard it, um, it's a hard wood and it cooks real high temps. And I don't like to cook at high temps like that. But anyway, hope you liked the video. Hit me up, comment. Tell me what you pay for your, your wood. Uh, how many pieces you get? Some people buy the cord, some buy an eighth of cord, stuff like that. Google it, it'll tell you exactly what a cord is. Pretty much a big section of uh, wood bundled up. But anyway, this is your boy, Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, representing collecting wood, y'all, in the future.